Right here we got the Army Museum. Let's go check out. This is one of the cannons that the Hawaiian monarchy put to defend Honolulu Harbor in 1830. Anyway, they had 12 of these and who knows what happened to the rest of them, but this is one. And uh, let's see. Got some other what I call cannons. Somebody else might call it something else. But this actually says it's a Japanese type one. Lightweight mobile piece. I call it. It says here this is a 105 millimeter howitzer M3. Used for scouting and reconnaissance at late days of World War II. 75 millimeter main gun. And three machine guns. Huh. It says this is a Japanese light tank that could go 90 to 100 miles at speeds up to 30 miles an hour. Wow, pretty good range. So this here is a prefabricated pillbox. The US military apparently would bury these in position. And then a couple guys had machine guns sitting up in there. So that, that's a revolving turret type of thing. Looks like, and uh, I guess that's the thing. At least they had some cover so they, uh, they could turn that thing around and shoot out of it. Man, I wouldn't want to be in that tiny thing with somebody else. He's talking about the history of the ancient Hawaiians that sailed here before, a thousand years before Columbus did his journey. Tell us out Kamehameha had uh, put a fort in Honolulu way in advance of the American fort. Well, on the roof they've got this old army attack helicopter, it's kind of neat. And down here is a 7 inch gun from the New Hampshire ship, originally. And it, they'll display, so that's how they used to have 14 inch guns mounted here at this, this used to be a gun battery where this museum is. Anyhow. Apparently that's the diameter of the inside of the barrel, seven inches, so. Anyhow, if you're in Waikiki and you want something free to do, come here and check this out. There's a lot to learn.